I'm Ian Skipper, I'm a volcanologist at Victoria University of Wellington and I'm interested in using the box fish to examine and to capture and analyze gases emitted from submarine volcanoes. 90% of volcanoes on earth are below the ocean, um, but we know very little about them because until now they've been nearly impossible to access. So it was really get, great to get the sort of personal touch of having uh, Russ visit from Boxfish. Uh, came here, spent two full days with us. He was very knowledgeable and any questions we had that he couldn't answer on the spot, he was quick to find the answers if you had to uh, ask the engineers or someone else. That was excellent. So just to have the, uh, a confident instructor present was excellent. Commercial ROVs or submersibles uh, can do a lot of the work we need to do, but they're immensely expensive and logistically prohibitive. With the Boxfish, they allows us to be nimble, to fly to different locations, or to launch from even a simple boat or land platform. Um, it just gives a accessibility and a rapid response capability that we haven't previously had. The moment I saw Boxfish as a concept several years ago when I met the engineers, um, I immediately was just chomping at the bit to get my hands on one. I recognized in it immediately that it could be a total game changer in terms of our ability to do all sorts of science, but especially volcanology in the submarine realm. I did not hesitate at all about uh, pursuing getting my hands on a Boxfish. My biggest hope is that we'll be able to quantify the amount of degassing that's occurring from submarine volcanic centers in the Melanesian region. That's Vanuatu, Solomon Islands, and Papua New Guinea. Having boxfish allows us to use um, local vessels or even launch from shore if appropriate and really spend time doing exploration that's never been done before.